If you're interested in generating more pipeline in your software sales shop, go ahead and step in this room with me here right now. The title of this video in reality should be Happy Pipeline, Happy Life, because the more effectively you can generate pipeline, the more successful you're gonna be in your sales shop and the more money you're gonna make. Whether you're an SDR, whether you're a BDR, whether you're an account executive like me, the strategy I'm gonna outline right here on this board works, it will help you generate more pipeline, more effectively. I started my career as an SDR, first two years absolutely grinding before I ever made a video. I wanted to master my craft, I've made 40,000 cold calls, generated over $10 million in pipeline, leading to $1 million in closed revenue. So I've really uncovered an approach that helps you generate artificial warmth and warm up conversations while also targeting the biggest and the best names in your book of business. If you're an account executive like me, you have a book of business, you have a territory, you have a set number of companies that you can sell into. If you're an SDR, you most likely align to an account executive or multiple who have companies in their name as well. I have 2,700 companies in my account list. So that's the starting point. Accounts. Accounts. Your book of business, how do you sort between the interesting and the not interesting? How do you identify where are the pockets within your book of business that, that will have the highest revenue potential? That's really important. And I see a lot of new reps start and they go through company by company. They go to the website, they look them up in Zoom Info, and it takes days, it takes weeks. So what I would recommend is a two-folder approach. Approach number one is warmth. Warmth. Warmth, you gotta find warmth in your book. The warmth is the low hanging fruit. Who has your money, who's ready to buy? The other side is the whales. The whales is where a lot of people spend a lot of their time on, and it's simply the companies that have the highest potential to spend the most money with your company. You need a mix of whales in your pipeline, and you need a mix of warmth that have strong, compelling events that might close sooner rather than later. And as we think about the actual approach, how do we spend our time, where do we start prospecting? I recommend the warmth, okay? We use Salesforce as our CRM. So if you use, if you use Salesforce, you most likely have access to these data fields today. When I think about warmth, number one is upsell. Number one, up, sell. I'm leaning over right now, I wanna make sure you're able to read it, but I also wanna go write it. Number one is upsell. If a company is already spending money with your company on your product line, then it's probably a safe bet to reach out to them to see how's it been working, get feedback so that you have more data points to actually take to other potential customers as well. If someone's already executed a contract and is spending with your product line, it's going to be much easier to sell to that customer than to acquire a new one. So I would recommend in your book of business, who are the existing customers? When are their renewal dates? What are they spending today? Where is the opportunity to upsell them? That is number one. Number two, cross sell. Cross sell, that's my favorite. So. If you have multiple product lines that you're able to sell, for example, my company has up one product line, but multiple different use cases or licenses within that product line. So for a company that's spending in a different product line, what I do to cross sell is I run a report in Salesforce for total account spend for XYZ product line, and I reach out to all the relevant titles and I say, can you introduce me to whoever oversees XYZ, this product line? Um, or I just reach out to the people directly. For example, let's say your company sells a product line that helps directors of sales. And let's, sell you, let's say you sell a product line that, that helps director of ITs. Identify who are the directors of IT within that company that spend with your sales product line and reach out and say, hey, XYZ uses our product line today. Can we set up some time? I'm sure there's a lot of value we can provide you since we've already working with your group as well. Number three, number three, I, in interesting moments. This may be something that's just relevant to my company because we have a lot of marketing resources. Interesting moments are when prospects in your book of business, in your name or your rep's name, view the website, download content, go to a webinar, request sales contact. I'm not talking inbound requests where it's very low hanging fruit, very warm. You most likely have an inbound response team. If you're a rep, you most likely have a way to track interesting moments, people who have viewed your content, 
um, or have somehow interacted with your brand because that is an interesting moment. If that person has looked up your company name recently, if they know who you are, what you do, you need to target them and that is as warm as it gets. You need to reach out to them. The sooner you reach out to them, the better. And then number four, lost opportunities. Lost opportunities. The whole point of generating pipeline is to eventually set up a meeting and begin working a sales cycle to create an opportunity which has an associated pipeline amount. If you can close that opportunity, it results in actual one revenue. Customers or prospects that have spoken with your company in the past, but for some reason the opportunity was lost or deal dead, whatever you may call it, get a list of all those people. Understand the timing. When was it lost? What was the context? Reach back out to them. Hey, I'm sure a lot has changed in your business. We've had quite a few updates as well. Let's set up a time to discuss mutual updates and how I can best serve you going forward. Call them, hey, the reason I'm calling you is I recently transitioned in as your new point of contact. I saw that you spoke with XYZ about XYZ in the past. Let's set up a time to discuss current initiatives, whatever it may be. Make sure it's still a value at reach out. But when you think about your book of business, where is the warmth? These four areas is where the warmth is. Believe me, the more artificial warmth you can generate. And what I mean by warmth is if you call your friend right now on the phone and they see, hey, Sally's calling me, that's warm. They know who you are. If they see a random number with a local area code presence, Trump from Qualtrics, they don't know who I am, they're probably not gonna answer. So how can you generate warmth in your messaging to improve your set rates, improve your conversion rates, and ultimately get more meetings and more conversations? That's what it's all about. If you're committed to generating warmth in your own book of business or for your account executive, make sure to drop a like on this video now. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, we post daily sales content, a lot of fantastic videos on the way. Okay, whale hunting. Let's go ahead and change the camera a little bit. I'm sure a lot of you love whale hunting. Whale hunting is essentially the companies that have the highest spend potential, money sign. A lot of reps look at their book of business, okay, 2,700 accounts, and they immediately filter by revenue, by employee count, by some arbitrary internal company measurement, such as um, a TZ score of, hey, high TZ score means it's a good company to call into. Most likely it's some compilation of employee or revenue count. What I would advise you to think about is who are the companies in your book of business that have a good reason to actually buy your product. Any public companies have an abundance of public information available for you to find. 10K reports, go find them and figure out what are their initiatives, what are their priorities, how can you use that to get in these companies because they, make, they may make hundreds of millions in revenue, over a billion. If they have a billion in revenue, they most likely can spend 50, 100K with your product, okay? So it's good to know what they need and align your solution to their needs. And when we think about actually beginning outreach in tandem to companies and, and what may be a good fit. Think about industry. This is something I rarely did as a new rep because I didn't have enough understanding to know how does my solution solve challenges that are common across different industries. Um, that's unique to my company because I can sell it to all industries. If you just sell to one industry, you should really have it down pat and know exactly what they, they face and what challenges. As you start to get more experience and work across more industries, you'll start to understand what industries really need my solution and why. Once you understand that why, figure out what are the best industries. Best industries. A lot of the time I would run my account list and I'd say, oh, that's so much revenue. But it would be some weird holding company. It'd be some weird energy or oil company that literally doesn't care about my solution. I now look for, okay, where are the high tech companies? Where are the manufacturing companies? Where are the companies that have a great use case based on my product or service? So start there. What are the companies in the best industry with the best use cases? And then after that, then look to revenue and then employee count. And then what I'd recommend is condense, okay? Condense all of your accounts into a top 50. Top 50. Identify the top 50 accounts that have upsell potential, cross-sell potential, and also whale accounts as well. So you have a running list of 50 accounts that you are constantly prospecting into on a monthly cadence. 
You should know your top 50 accounts. You should know what they care about. You should know who the power players are. You should track what are the updates you hear. Oh, you're using my competitor and your contract is valid through the next three months. Okay, let me set a reminder in two months to reach back out. The better you know your book of business, the better chance you're gonna have of generating more pipeline. As an SDR, you're very transactional. You don't care about the book of business, so focus on warmth. As an account executive, you gotta do a blend. You gotta do a blend of both of these to achieve the most success. And then of course, how else can we get creative? Do you have some sort of internal or external ecosystem to help, a partner network? Um, how can you as an account executive empower your SDR to be more successful? Can you get customer referrals? Can you reach out to any of your internal colleagues to help get you in? What tools are you using? We use LinkedIn Navigator, Zoom Info, Salesforce Outreach. Rely on your tools as well, create leverage, do automated email campaigns, make your cold calls each and every day. And ultimately, it's all about consistency. If you show up each and every day, you do the right efforts, the right activities, you will begin generating more pipeline, you will begin closing more business, and you will begin reaching your goals sooner rather than later. So thanks so much for watching here today. If you have any thoughts, ideas, questions, concerns, reach out in the comments down below. I read them all. I'd love to also hear any other video ideas. I'm back in the office. We've got a nice whiteboard. We can do virtually any breakdown you want. And of course, if you learned something new today, if you enjoyed the content, drop a like. It really helps with the algorithm. And I will talk to you in the next video.